Julian is a Mermaid by Jessica Love While riding the subway home from the pool with his abuela one day, Julian notices three women spectacularly dressed up. Their hair billows in brilliant hues, their dresses end in fishtails, and their joy fills the train car. When Julian gets home, daydreaming of the magic he's seen, all he can think about is dressing up just like the ladies in his own fabulous mermaid costume. But what will Abuela think about the mess he makes? And even more importantly, what will she think about how Julian sees himself? Angus All Aglow by Heather Smith Angus loves sparkly things, so much so that he can hear them. To Angus, shiny objects not only look beautiful, they also crackle, buzz, and go whiz, bang, pop. His unique ability is lost, however, when Angus wears his grandma's beaded necklace to school and his classmates tease him for his atypical choice. Saddened by their laughter, Angus stops hearing the sparkle. A gentle story of acceptance, generosity, and friendship, Angus all aglow reminds us that it only takes one kind gesture to restore your sparkle and returning the kindness can make you glow from the inside out. Playing Wicked by Alex R. Collar Dante loves playing make-believe. When he's with his friends, he's the wizened wizard or regular ruler. But when he's by himself, Dante would rather be the wicked queen. Then, one day, his dress and makeup are just so perfect that he braves the outdoors, delighting in his playful evilness. Will Dante find someone to play the hero to his villain? A Peacock Among Pigeons by Tyler Curie Peter the Peacock doesn't know how it happened, but he found himself growing up in a flock of pigeons. Surrounded by a world of grey, he found himself feeling less than his peers and was embarrassed by his feathers. After he fails to blend in, he decides that it's time to learn to fly on his own. Along the way, he meets new bird friends from all the different flocks that teach him a lesson he will never forget. Prince and Knight by Daniel Hack In this modern fairy tale, a noble prince and a brave knight come together to defeat a terrible monster and in the process find true love in a most unexpected place. From the Stars in the Sky to the Fish in the Sea by Kai Cheng Tum this is the tale of a magical gender-variant child who brings transformation and change to the world around them with the help of their mother's love. This unique children's book honors timeless fairy tale themes while challenging gender, racial, and body stereotypes. A Family is a Family is a Family by Sarah O'Leary When a teacher asks the children in her class to think about what makes their families special, the answers are all different in many ways, but the same in the one way that matters most of all. Maiden and Princess by Daniel Hack and Isabel Galupo In this modern fairy tale, a strong, brave maiden is invited to attend the prince's royal ball, but at the dance, she ends up finding true love in a most surprising place. Stonewall, a building, an uprising, a revolution by Rob Sanders. In this powerful and timeless true story, young readers discover the rich and dynamic history of the Stonewall Inn and its role in the gay civil rights movement, a movement that continues to this very day. Neither by Airlie Anderson. In the land of this and that, there are only two kinds, blue bunnies and yellow birds. But one day, a funny green egg hatches and a little creature that's not quite a bird and not quite a bunny pops out. It's neither. Neither tries hard to fit in, but its bird legs aren't good for jumping like the other bunnies, and its fluffy tail isn't good for flapping like the other birds. It sets out to find a new home and discovers a very different place, one with endless colors and shapes and creatures of all kinds. But when a blue bunny and a yellow bird with some hidden differences of their own arrive, it's up to neither to decide if they are welcome in the land of all. 
Mary Wears What She Wants by Keith Neagley Once upon a time, but not too long ago, girls only wore dresses, and only boys wore pants. Until one day, a young girl named Mary had a bold idea. She would wear whatever she wanted, and she wanted to wear pants. Inspired by the true story of Mary Edwards Walker, a trailblazing doctor who was arrested many times for wearing pants, this fresh, charming picture book encourages readers to think for themselves while gently challenging gender and societal norms. What Riley Wore by Elena K. Arnold Gender creative Riley knows just what to wear for every occasion during a busy week with family and friends. This charming picture book is a gentle exploration of self-expression and source of encouragement for being true to oneself despite the expectations of others. Pink is for Boys by Rob Perlman Pink is for boys and girls and everyone. This timely and beautiful picture book rethinks and reframes the stereotypical blue-pink gender binary and empowers kids and their grown-ups to express themselves in every color of the rainbow. Featuring a diverse group of relatable characters, Pink is for Boys invites and encourages girls and boys to enjoy what they love to do, whether it's racing cars and playing baseball or loving unicorns and dressing up. And Tango Makes Three by Justin Richardson. In the zoo, there are all kinds of animal families, but Tango's family is not like any of the others. This illustrated children's book fictionalizes the true story of two male penguins who become partners and raise a penguin chick in the Central Park Zoo. A Day in the Life of Marlon Bundo by Jill Twiss. This picture book presents a very special boy bunny who falls in love with another boy bunny. With its message of tolerance and advocacy, this charming children's book explores issues of same-sex marriage and democracy. Sweet, funny, and beautifully illustrated, this book is dedicated to every bunny who has ever felt different. Love Makes a Family by Sophie Beer Whether you have two mums, two dads, one parent, or one of each, there's one thing that makes a family a family, and that's love. I Am Perfectly Designed by Karamo Brown and Jason Rachel Brown I Am Perfectly Designed is an exuberant celebration of loving who you are, exactly as you are, from Karamo Brown, the culture expert on Netflix's hit series Queer Eye. In this empowering ode to modern families, a boy and his father take a joyful walk through the city, discovering all the ways in which they are perfectly designed for each other. Except When They Don't by Laura Gell this rhyming picture book encourages children to celebrate their individuality and lets them know that it's okay to play with whatever toys they want to. Harrison Dwight, Ballerina and Knight by Rachel McFarlane Equal parts humor and heart, this book follows a young boy as he cycles through various feelings he experiences in everyday life. Harrison feels happiness, sadness, pride, fear, joy, anger, and courage, all while playing and imagining without limitation. With Harrison Dwight, boys everywhere will feel empowered to play in whatever way they choose and learn that it's always okay to express what you're feeling inside. Ho'onani, Hula Warrior by Heather Gale An empowering celebration of identity, acceptance, and Hawaiian culture based on the true story of a young girl in Hawaii who dreams of leading the boys-only hula troupe at her school. When Aiden Became a Brother by Kyle Lukoff When Aiden was born, everyone thought he was a girl. His parents gave him a pretty name, his room looked like a girl's room, and he wore clothes that other girls liked wearing. After he realized he was a trans boy, Aiden and his parents fixed the parts of life that didn't fit anymore, and he settled happily into his new life. Then, mom and dad announced that they're going to have another baby. 
This book is a heartwarming story that will resonate with transgender children, reassure any child concerned about becoming an older sibling, and celebrate the many transitions a family can experience. I Love My Colorful Nails by Alicia Acosta A young boy who loves to paint his nails in cheerful colors is made fun of at school. His father and those around him paint their nails to stand against Ben's bullies, encouraging him to be himself despite what others think. This picture book touches on emotions, being yourself, and peaceful solutions to negative confrontations. Big Boys Cry by John T. Howley It's Levi's first day at a new school, and he's scared. When his father tries to comfort Levi, he falls back on the line his own father used to use with him. Big boys don't cry. Though he immediately understands his misstep, he can't find the words to right the ship, and Levi leaves for school, still in need of reassurance. This picture book imagines a world in which boys are encouraged to express their full range of emotions. Dress Like a Girl by Patricia Tott What's the right way to dress like a girl? In this picture book, a slumber party full of girls enacts their own playful, empowering twists on several stuffy, old-timey rules of fashion. The Gay BCs by M. L. Webb A joyful celebration of LGBTQ plus vocabulary for kids of all ages. From A is for ally, to F is for family, to Q is for queer, the author's bright illustrations and lively inclusive poems delight in the beauty of embracing one's truest self. A glossary in the back offers opportunity for further discussion of terms and identities.